Anyways, so yeah, um, I just wanted to make that clear channel message for some of y'all. Um, the most high Father God. Um, there's no description. Like I can't describe him or she. Like it's just, but it's a very strong energy that no power cannot. You know, because it's an energy of love, truth, integrity. You know compassion forgiveness that higher energy higher frequency and even higher than that so a lot of you is like stop limiting yourself stop like you know like yeah new age spirituality is like toxic as fuck and but there is some truth in the bunch of fucking bullshit and distraction right so a lot of you be aware of the distractions that's part of their game that's part of the you know their tactics okay like this distraction thing like yeah okay you're giving us money the prime minister here but it's like but you still a genocidal maniac like what like he's trying to get votes for next year right so they're like yeah two months without this but also he's like an enabler right because he knows he's trying to attack the bds movement the boycott by choosing certain items they're already against th- like there are f- items that fund the genocide in Israel, right? So it's like helping us here in Canada, but also helping and get funding people like funding genocidal psychopath, the IRF, Israel, right? But then still blame it, use our taxes, right? Because you're going to buy those items, right? So it is from your taxes, right? So he's giving you guys money and then get, getting like a GST cut or something like that, like a tax cut or something like that, that's what he's doing. And it's like, okay, okay. So it's like buying people to not hold them accountable. So that's him. That's his way. That I find that a very narcissistic way, if you know what I mean. Like they would try to buy you. And I think it's true. A friend of mine tell, tell me this and it's so true. The bigger the gift, the bigger the guilt. Remember that (laughs) the bigger the guilt, the bigger the gift, right? And another thing, it's amazing that we finally, Sataniyahu and all the other fuck, the other psychos have a warrant and whatever country they go, the countries that said that they have a buy that they're going to imprison him, put him in jail, send him to the Hague. If they go into any of these countries. But that's not just it. So don't, like that is a small seed. Which is great. A great win. Okay. But we still have to understand the Zionism is. And the Israel and the society energy. Which is they're trying to hide it. Right. They're trying to um, you know distort it with the whole um you know, oh, yeah, I'm Jewish and the religion, even though they're not, they're not, okay, Um, there's just extreme nationalists, right, and fascist, Um, and racist, yeah, Um, just what it is, but let's just say not everybody is like that, right, we have to give the benefit of the doubt, right, and a lot of people feel some type of way about that, even I myself feel some type of way, but do we see the do we see or believe that people are capable of change? Absolutely. But it does requires them to, sh- you know, take accountability, take action and do and say and act differently than what, you know, not just say something and then act differently. Right. And basically follow through, be authentic. That A lot of y'all, that's what they're taking away from you. Your authenticity, your creativity. Because they have none. Yes. The elite rich billionaires that you guys all worship. Stop worshiping celebrities. Stop worshiping these people. Like for real. Stop. Don't worship me. Okay. Don't worship nobody. Like it's weird. Go worship God. Like go talk to him. He's so funny. And like hilarious. And that's why a lot of people are like. Oh my God. You've been single for eight years. And celibate and all that. Yeah. Because like. Why not? Why the fuck not? I don't know. I just have high standard, I guess. I don't, you know, and I don't want to just leave it like that. Like, I also have friends, I have community and stuff, but it's like, I don't want to encourage that individualistic either because we are, gen- like, 
you know community people like we need to build community to be with with her you know to feel safe to be united and stuff like that like that is also encouraged but yeah you can have your alone time of course every human needs that mental like debrief and like alone time and time to reflect and like you know that's fine but don't stay stuck there like you have other things you have other people to be there you have other people to care about who care about you that you can have that reciprocity energy and you can protect each other you can save each other you if it's one is is dealing with something the other one comes in like you know it's like a reciprocal energy that there's a reciprocity as well it's kind of like distorted you know it's just like there's one energy take 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 and the other one is like give 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 but there's no like reciprocity like balance so that's what i find the capitalism the distorts with community and creates the separation and then individualistic energy and this is where we're at right and we have to kind of like go against that grain and this is why i find uh, decolonization but also connecting with spirit with god with higher power universe whatever you want to call it whatever who created us who brought us into this planet and yes it's divine feminine who bring you to this planet okay so this is why these patriarchal elites and disgusting energy are so intense with controlling women's fucking uh sexual reproductive to, or, or any other people's reproductive that they want or whatever like you are pathetic <laughs> And stop putting God in like, oh, well, God created you this way, so you can just change. Like, no. Like, what? So what? So what? There, there's mutation. There is situations that happen. A lot of you, you're Christian, Catholic, Zionist, fucking... <laughs> like, uh, taking away trans uh, rights or the whole is super homophobic and it's so super like so what if people want to change like maybe what if they had a deal with god and say hey god like i don't want to be this way can i like what if he says yeah go for it there's a doctor here and stuff like that like so what you guys are not bigger than god this is the problem this is the problem you have this god complex and and thinking because you have money and power and you control people manipulate people and and you get away with it right you don't nobody holds you accountable there goes the hot god complex like no humble yourself like put yourself in a homeless situation or better yet go help go check out people in gaza people in the north what on the north like literally in the north of gaza in the west bank go check out sudan what's going on in sudan go check out what's going on in congo Go check out what's going on in Haiti. Like, what? And every other of what that I just said to you, USA is involved. Israel is involved. We have the enemy. We have the fucking... Ne- but that too, is this is just the physical. And the spirit is completely different. It's They look like intense, demonic, satanic shit. Like fucked up creatures, okay? And for us, who can see it in the spirit, it's intense okay and a lot of us there's angels there's all this stuff going on spirit you ancestors who don't play with about y'all a lot of you you have some sick ancestors i've seen some crazy stuff in the spirit some crazy fight sore fight and all that like holy moly i know i have sick ancestors okay but a lot of y'all that i've read energy on youtube you have some great ancestors okay so always thank your ancestors and you know god allows certain ancestors to to come through okay especially the really high revolutionary ones okay so a lot of you accept that it's cool you know it's like nice and also it feels nice to have another wisdom that has overcome things karmic lessons that you could learn to overcome in your current present life right so that too and that too don't think that that's another like the whole like oh you know tower and all that is demonic and stuff like that's the that's literally a pit a lie a pit of lie of hell okay and also it comes from them from the regional elite because they don't want you to know what is they doing in the background which uh kudos to a lot of spiritual people also like um we're all spiritual but these people <laughs> Um, I found a couple on TikTok, but I was just like, holy shit, if I had the balls, 
Um, yeah, so there are some spiritual people that they are currently just their target, their energy that they're reading, channeling nonstop live and stuff like that is billionaires and elites and celebrities. And is really like yuck. Okay, but they're calling them out. They call them out all the time. You guys should be taxing them. You <laughs> should be taxing the rich. And like, look at what they're doing. Look what they're doing with your money. <laughs> it's great. Um, um, I wish they would talk more about what's going on in the world, but their target is much higher, which I understand they're trying to skip this step. That's a form. That's what we said. We can't. That's what God has said. I told you guys before in other episodes and in this in the YouTube channel that you can skip steps in the spiritual realm <laughs> everybody is in different lessons and different uh ranks or journey okay everybody's different and uh, nobody's better than everyone uh there is equality so that's why it's been birth here in the physical but it's just taking time because of the people who are against us changing from capitalism to you know to have that that you can have like heaven on earth here so they want to have their heaven and earth just for themselves by stealing and taking from those who also deserve heaven and earth as well. So instead of like, I don't know, I feel like you guys are not mad enough about <laughs> your government and people and who consider themselves in power and all these owners and CEOs and stuff like, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of energy siphoning and there's a lot of gifts and dreams and talents that they have uh taken but not for long because that's what i'm letting you know it's like god allowed them to think that they will get away with it for long but uh right now everything is gonna crumble and they don't like to hear it but you need to hear it you need to because you need to be held accountable for your psychotic disgusting and vile actions and behaviors that you think you're they're going to be unpunished but they're not they are not okay and then everybody else who have to deal with your abuse have to also heal. That you're not allowing to heal. You're not allowing to, right? Because if they heal, that means that they you no longer have control um, of them and you don't get to abuse them, right? Narcissist, sadist. That's what that is. A lot of y'all, you, you need, you're sick. You need to go get some therapy. A lot of people is like, Jesus. Anyways, the message was... Father God wanted to say is, yeah. So, yeah, you go. The deception and envy is in reverse, okay? So, that's what they're, they're trying to, like, hide or trying to, like, oh, there's nothing with deceiving, you know, we're not jealous or envy. But if you see the image of this, like, person's face, it's like a huge-ass mass and, like, looking at people some type of way and, like, oh, I'm not deceiving you. I'm not jealous of you, but a lot of people are like, yeah, what you're speaking. Yeah, because they know trap in fear like they'd want you guys trap in fear like in this prison cell. But if you look at the cell, their door is already like a little bit open and you're still inside. Some of you, it's like creating conflicts and defeat. Yeah, mental conflict, creating mental conflict, instability. Yeah, they feel like they can do this because they have power. Okay. But yeah, Father God is like, yeah, they're going to experience an intense emotional loss. Yeah, every time. And they know it. They know that their witchy-washy kitchen motherfucking shit, it crumbles down. Okay, I shouldn't mention it like that because these people are highly, highly skilled of this. They use really highly skilled warfare, um, you know. They don't have, they feel like they have power because for some you know it does they acquire those energy they harness energy from like really dark shit that they do um to acquire money or to maintain it it's just to maintain it or sustain it right because once people find out how you acquire the money especially if it's dirty and corrupt and fucked up then you're trying to be the good guy right are you trying people not to like oh no not to look you bad or not to be uh you know nobody wants to deal with you like who the fuck wants to deal with a fucking psychopath like what the fuck so that's why they're trying to boost themselves and ego themselves and oh look 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 what i can give you look i give you crumbs you know but these are the stuff that you are supposed to get like you know for your entire life for a lot of you like these people still generational wealth from other people that's how they acquire billions that's why father god keeps saying billionaires should not exist 
just like other colonies, settler colonies should not exist either. Yeah, there's the light. The light is coming out. Yep. Yeah. Everything. Oh, yeah, I got that message before. Everything that is done in the dark will be shown to light. Yeah. A lot of you have some um, tor black tourmaline or um, it's just protection uh, from cyber attacks or... Um, Um, energy uh, siphoning and stuff like that but also take your energy back so a lot of you it's like you are um, as soon as you're aware of Father God makes you aware you take your energy back and you thank uh, Father God you take your spirit you thank your ar archangels your ancestors okay you're supposed to be doing that yeah so yeah that God complex I mean do what you want. I'm just the messenger. But like build that relationship with him and then you'll see him and her, whatever, however you call it. It's just I always I'm used to him, him, her. Maybe because I mean I do have a father, but I don't know, maybe he's I don't know. He's always been like a since I'm a kid, like he's always been like a guy, father figure. And maybe that's it too. For me, it could have been like indoternization as well, because I grew up like Catholic and stuff. And that too was like I was like, you know, but now I understand Christ consciousness where in the past I didn't know. And everything is in divine timing. Everything is done in due time. And you have to trust him, him or her or spirit for my indigenous people. You know, our creator. He's everywhere and everything. Everywhere. And that's why he advocates for all of us. That's why he, when the truth is not exposed or is being pampered or suppressed or censored and stuff like that, he will find ways to get you the truth if you want to hear it. Because some people don't want to hear the truth. Right? And that's what my channel is about. So if you can't deal with the truth, clarity, and justice, um, I don't know what I, I don't know. You know, I, that's where I'm, my energy is at. And I'm always trying to help someone uncover their uh, fucking abuse and shit like that. Because I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to manipulate and pamper people's free will. And then act like a like an innocent. Like you're, oh, I didn't do anything. Or act like you didn't do anything. Or act like you're not jealous and envious that you decided to take that vile and evil action. Right? So it's coming to light for a lot of you. It's been coming to light. Like, a lot of you, congratulations for educating yourself. Okay? Kudos to you that you have the time to do so, okay? A lot of people are struggling with that right now, but memories of memories of love, yeah. yeah. A lot of people are sad, yeah, I bet. Like, for sure, dude. Like, there's a lot of people healing, grieving, the memory of loss, of losing a loved one, or people killing, murdering their families for money. You're going to pay for it, motherfucker. I swear to God. And I know you're here. Yeah, there it is. The fucking devil. Temptation comes out. But also, it's like this energy is like useless if you don't give it power. So just take away the power. That's why boycotting is so good. Take away their fucking power. And you'll see, like, look how they like, because it works. They get all scared. Like, oh, no, my money. Because they did dirty, disgusting shit to acquire it. So now when it's exposed, they're like scared or trying to like manipulate you guys by buying you, trying to buy you. You can't buy love. You can't buy the truth. Okay. You can't buy that. That's a, a lot of dirty ass influencers around here and distracting people and doing shit and like talking bullshit kakalaka instead of like focusing on, on the things that, they, that, that matters. Okay. So Spirit said, rest in genuine it, okay? Um, it says, stand your ground. For a lot of you, stand your ground with this temptation, have self-control or this energy or trying to, um, you know, go against your, you know, and it's hard. Like a lot of people don't feel like going through the app things, right? And like boycotting, right? Okay, well, if you can live with that, that's on you, okay? But my heart if I let my heart to get that far, I just, no, I become like one of them. And I will never, ever want to be like those elite rich motherfuckers, ever. I will never. 
I never got like that's why I, I look at people strange like and I know a lot of you karmics go like oh how are you gonna attract a billionaire or millionaire if you talk like that I'm like dude do I look like I'm one of seek fucking men who are filthy as fuck and how kill people and and murder people to acquire their money what what's wrong with you like a lot of you what's wrong with you like that's the because of people like y'all that's where we at where we at because you don't stand the ground you don't fucking no you're not gonna just like what oh they have money okay so what what are they how do they acquire it do they have values do they have integrity do they help other people do they care about other people do they care about you for some of you, you you're in a relationship where your partner fucking hates you like damn all those of you, you're making a lot of sacrifices, yeah. And doing the shadow work, congratulations. Yeah, that's it. Now this is where you're confident. This is what the the Father God confidence comes in. It's from, yeah, that's why you, a lot of you, you feel that as soon as you feel that confidence, that energy that he's all, you know, protecting you and all that, you feel some type of, you know, and then you get like, oh, yeah, I'm God, I'm God. Oh, oh. like, no. <laughs> and that's why he leaves. Like, he just like, okay, you don't, like, he just lets you be, you know. He doesn't leave you, but it's just like, it's annoying. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but like, <laughs> anyway, sometimes, I mean, it's like, you're his children, right? Like a lot of us, we understand as parents, right? We're like, okay, sure. You think you're, <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, I mean, God sees everything as like, you know, their children, their child, right? And it's not about love. And this is why the enemy just wants to kill children, right? Like, that's what it is. And uses people to kill children, too, right? And so, but we're not excusing or enabling abuse, uh, psychological or uh, crimes and war crimes, right? But um, this is what they also are expecting people to um, to do, uh, to not do the shadow work, but also, like, hide in the shadows, the the, the trying to sacrifice people who stand up to them. Hmm. <laughs> People who don't conform to the status quo. All right, let's talk about that. All right, Father God, what do we need to know? Spirit angels, Jesus, the highest white light. What do we need to know about this? Because we have shadow, sacrifice, and stand your ground, okay? And then there's this temptation, this energy. Yeah, but you are. You're doing the sacrifice. Yeah, spiritual union. Yeah, so it's good news, yeah partnership and alliance exactly they know it yeah this is what pisses them off whatever <laughs> just laugh laugh about it don't take so seriously other people like plan or what they're trying to plot or something like that like there's partnership uh, with other people a lot of you you're getting new jobs you're getting better jobs um, you're getting better partnership, better relationships, uh, and alliances because, yeah, because you acquire the wisdom. Thank you, spirit. The wisdom and the solar plexus. Wow. And beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah. So that's it. I feel like because God is doing all this for you, like you already think like you're God or something. Don't do that. Don't, don't lose the humble. Don't get caught up. Like, like yeah like stay grounded like a lot of you like stay grounded this is why there's gonna be this double partnership this community this alliance and stuff like that because you all require the same wisdom so now you're able to yeah so that's why you guys light workers and people of the lie true tellers yeah you're gonna be replacing the people on the top and you're gonna do it better than them yep you're gonna do it better than them glory be to god inshallah and so it is. Amen. Yeah, you are. This is their biggest fear. And it's going to happen. This is why they're putting laws and all this fucking, yeah. Creating more illusion. It's crumbling. Yeah. The USA empire and all this society is crumbling. Yeah, and they know it. Yeah, I see it. Might not be in our lifetime, though. But it might be sooner. I don't know. God is doing his thing. There's a lot of people now. Wow, beautiful energy. A lot of people heal, change, acquiring the wisdom, doing the education. See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> if you want more books, go check out writersyet.com. Uh, there's a section that says bookshop. All kinds of decolonization beauty is there. Go have fun. Go read. We should get back into that energy of reading. 
enjoying reading, enjoying that time of learning and wisdom. And then discerning as well. There's a beautiful energy of learning how to discern, not just reading with books, but reading energy as well. So a lot of you, you like to listen to other readers and all this stuff. That's fine. But make sure that the, you know, they're, you know, you're feeding the proper things because there's some other people that just like enablers of a system that continues to maintain harm and suffering and for other people so that they can feel comfortable about themselves and then there's other people they do this because they feel some type of satisfaction believe it or not the psychotic sadist they have satisfaction of hurting other people the narcissist energy this is why a lot of them most of them they hate empath they hate seers and prophets and stuff like that they're real ones because there's a lot of fake out energy too so copycats and all that okay so be aware of that and I'm not saying that those, you know, it's just karmic lessons that people need to learn, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. Like a lot of you all, I see seven. You could be seeing seven, 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 twelve, eighteen, two, five. Five is about change. Okay. Four, four, four. All right. Let me see what the angels want to say. But that's what I have for you guys. I think that's it. I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> or try to. Oh, wow. I don't know. Everything is shifting now. Like, a lot of people need healing, need wisdom. They don't know where to acquire wisdom. They don't know where to acquire truth. They don't know who is true to them. They don't know who to trust. I see it. I understand. And that's okay to seek that. But remember, most of the work that that, that we do, the energy reading, is most of the things that you already know, that you already acquire. So what you're seeking is already within you. You just need the validation and confirmation, right? But remember, just you looking into it is already your confirmation and validation, okay? All right, so what the angels want to say is we have uh, severe vows of poverty, okay? So that poverty mindset, right? So it, it's, it's an illusion, right? Because they created that illusion through capitalism, through, you know, to maintain themselves, to sustain what they already have. Like, they're afraid to lose it because if you're, way, if you're afraid to lose something, it means that you never acquired it the right way. You never morally acquire acquired it the right way so this is why their energy is the poverty mindset that they're trying to like project and transfer to us even though they are the richest people on the planet right yeah is it weird they are intimidated and and have competition and they feel some type of way by all of y'all who probably most of y'all don't have much you know but you're thriving you're creative your energy is beautiful you you help people you 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 know you, you you just you just are you just an energy you know and that's what they are they are they don't want that they like they want to dim that light you know that light that creates hope in people that creates light in people that gets people to be empathetic that gets people to be revolutionaries that gets people to like literally try to change this world that these distorted ass psychopaths with their cobs and their fucking fake ass corrupt shit has built for us to kind of like live and feel in this like mental prison not mental but it's even like every kind of prison right and then you see also like how distorted and everything and like and making it seem like oh we cannot change it we cannot do this we cannot do this no you can don't let the don't let the enemy tell you what you can and you cannot do okay that's number one that's how you get rid of that poverty mindset. Don't let them do that. Okay? And it's normal to have that poverty mindset because we live under capitalism and we're not equal. So stop blaming yourself for that. And please, let's not uh, allow them to mentally um, distort it that much with the whole, like, you know, like, 
the suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, all those things are a mechanism and are a byproduct of capitalism, of them stealing not only our through taxes, through everything, but also through our energy. They are masters, manipulators and master siphoning energy, vampire energy that you can ever, ever imagine. So it's not just the bombing, it's not just the stealing, it's just not the slave. There's like a slavery energy, that slavery shit. They harness that. And you said to maintain their wealth that they steal from other people. Yeah, let us sink in. So it says, Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty of or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time, and so it is. Amen. I say. Okay. Let go of that energy. Let go of... of um, it's a mindset, you know. And that too is like... A lot of people think that being spiritual does not require sacrifices and stuff like that. But you're highly mistaken. There's a lot of sacrifices that you have to do to be in the realm of shadow, of darkness, and be the light. Because all they want to do is just dim it. It's just dim it or take it or steal it for themselves. Or, you know, and yeah, it's like a snatching of souls, right? So a lot of you, yeah, you have to protect yourself in the physical, right? And then in the spiritual realm as well, because that way you can overcome anything in the physical. So when we talk about prayers, when we talk about meditation, you are creating protection energies for your vessel in the spiritual realm okay and you will understand more there's different levels to go through especially when you're you just starting with meditation which for people is very hard but 10 minute meditation could feel in the spiritual realm like an hour or two hours right so that's why when we're dreaming you feel like you've been dreaming like for hours and maybe you only slept for like 30 minutes right so that's why don't limit yourself don't limit your spirit you are a spirit here having a human experience and we have these tactics of capitalism controlling and 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 yeah most honestly most of the conspiracy theories it was created by them too created by the elite and rich people saying conspiracy theories are you know bullshit and stuff like that it, they created it why because most conspiracy theories are, are you guys are all finding out that they are true they are right and there's a lot of revolutionary politicians and stuff like political uh, revolutionary people still in jail for exposing this truth a long time ago. And now it's like they need to be out, right? Because a lot of you, you are aware that that was the truth that they were saying, but they're still stuck in prison. How interesting, right? A lot of people forgot about those people that now are living off the privilege right or of the truth that came out of that time and a lot of rights that you a lot of y'all you benefit from they came out from that time that that person that went through all of that got the truth out but that's how we see it and i love that this other day this mother was saying this that she thinks that her daughter is actually free and the people who are outside of prison are the one in prison And a lot of people, we need to assess like how prisons are being assessed and what is going on there. Like there's a lot of hidden misconception of, you know, but there is like incarceration in prison, like slavery and like a lot of companies that we are boycotting right now are also complicit of this prison slavery work money that's going on there, right? So for a lot of y'all that think that you're God, why haven't you fixed that? If you think you're God. Ask yourself that question. For those who have that God complex. Why do you have him fix that? Why? What's going on? Why are you taking... See? A lot of you go, do a God box. Like you said you you God, right? So, okay. <laughs> I 
I don't know who's saying that, but why am I getting that? Why is that energy coming in? Or this is a projection of a lot of you who think that I, that I think I'm God? No, hell no. No. I'm just a messenger. He just used me as a messenger and then I allow him to. Why not? Him or her or it or she or them. Like whatever you want to like. A lot of you, you just so, it's so much healing to do in your souls. Like your souls are distorted and sick. And then you call us who are trying to help you to get to where we're at because you can enjoy all this. But you have to do the work. A lot of you, you want to steal from people. You want to take uh, uh, content and stuff like that and, and, and all this weird ass shit. But then, like, what is that going to give you? You're going to constantly be stealing all the time? And what? What do you get out of that? Yeah, heal away addictions. Okay, but it came in reverse. So a lot of you, you are. You already heal addictions. You overcome this addiction. You have uh, ways of how, how to heal. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So Archangel Raphael has come through. And a lot of you got box. okay? It says, write any worries, concern, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a got box. As a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. That's cool. I love that. A lot of you get into a God box. I have my God box. I'm going to renew it. Yeah. A lot of you, yes, you're profoundly clairvoyant for some of you. Or hello. So it says, trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Exactly. That's what we're here for. A lot of us, that's that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm not here to, like, pretend or I, like, I'm God or something like that. No, 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 no. I read energies. My energy is all about justice. I'm not divine. Uh, is that, thank you, sir. I'm a spiritual judge. Exactly. Especially now, for 14 months, being bear witness for genocide, holocaust. A lot of y'all earned that right. That is your right. You are a bare witness of genocide and holocaust. All of you, you, earn, you, you have to hold that. Also, be thankful to the Palestinians, the Congo, Sudan. Like, literally, you think it's easy exposing the, the, their dead children, their families and stuff like that. You think that's like... <laughs> and we still, to this day, we think that those people are terrorists and we think that revolutionary people who are trying to save those people being bombed are the the enemy you're crazy man a lot of you are sick you're crazy but i'm not here i'm not nobody's god i'm nobody's uh healer mother father mama not none of that none of that a lot of you go talk to god like and stop pretending and acting like you're god <laughs> Just go decolonize. A lot of people, that's what it is. You're trying to skip the fucking step. That, thank you, swear. sorry. Sorry with the swearing. But you're trying to skip the step. <laughs> and trying to boost that ego again. So a lot of you, that is another form of narcissism. Like another evolved narcissism right there. <laughs> and then sticking around with spirituality, with spiritual new age. Jesus, Murphy. Yeah, throw chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. Exactly. Like, just speak your truth. Like, be authentic. A lot of you, like, stop with the faking ass energy. Like, earn on that. Like, a lot of you, like, Spirit is asking you to speak your truth. Like, a lot of people are scared that you're speaking this truth or they are scared that you will expose them or. Yeah, because you are. You are this clairvoyant. Yep, you are. Have you asked your angels to help you with this? Okay, so a lot of you, you need help with something. They're asking you to, it says vacuum away fear. Exactly. A lot of you stuck in fear. Someone's stuck in fear, but that's their energy. Capitalism, these people live off fear, inducing fear, uh, creating situations. Like it just, that's it. That's their money machine. Fear, doubts. That's how they, <laughs> fucking. So a lot of you, if you become fearless, uh, you have no fear, you have courage. That's their downfall. 
So let's go. Let's do that. Let's turn into that lion. Yeah. For real. Like, that's it. In the spiritual realm, that's what it is. Your ancestors and any archangels, they're not afraid of this leech's demonic energy. Like, and that's what they know that we are going to bring that here. That that's happening in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. But the thing is, they still think that it's not going to happen. It's going to. A lot of globally, we're all aware now. Yeah, it says your angel wants to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. So a lot of you, yeah. So this also confirms, this is a card that confirms to me that someone is trying to tamper or manipulate your free will or trying to change your perspective, trying to change your decisions, decisions that you need to make for yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something about you're speaking something or saying something like, yeah, speaking up for yourself, speaking up for others. This is pissing off these people because they live off, they live off other people, right? They live off like, Energy vampire, yeah. Narcissist. So it says, call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael. So we have Archangel Michael and Raphael. Woo! To lift fear-based energy from you. Your surroundings, this situation, and everyone involved, okay? And so it is. Thank you, Archangel Michael and Raphael. So guys, it says, go to the ocean. Go walk a little. Go do some it. And then get back to it, okay? Uh, fear... Being fearless and courageous is something that it takes time. It's like decolonization. It's a process. It's, uh, you know, and then the more you resist uh, uh, colonial oppression and, 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 and continue to resist for the liberation, not just of yourself, but of uh, Palestine, Congo, and Sudan, and everybody else, then you're, each day you're getting little by little a little bit higher. And yes, it takes time. Yes, not everybody's in the same energy. Some people are much higher and, and different rankings than you and different healings than you. And that's okay. That's why when you decolonize, you let go of the competition energy. Yep. You realize that you're not competing with those people. You are we're co-creating and co-working with these people, with people of any kind, any race or anything like that. It doesn't matter. You don't give a fuck about race. We also have to understand that capitalism needs to be dismantled for, for that reason because it endorses, it supports racist energy, which I, to this day, I still think that being racist and bigotry and all of that should be illegal. I think there should be a bill. And glory be to God, maybe one day and I will build that because it needs to be built. Just like that bill that is being built to stop the colonizing energy. Any colony just doesn't need to be assisting. We don't need to be colonizing for what we learned the lessons it's time and yes those people on the top are going to be replaced and they're not going to like this that i there yeah well yeah you need to hear it it's going to happen and it, you can't like don't kill the messenger don't like it's just what it is you're going to hear it multiple lifetimes and all the times this has been not the first time you hear it your parent parents parents have hear it that it comes from ancestors from people that have literally nothing right prophets people that literally are exposed in the truth that are connected to god and this is what pisses you off you will never have that energy you want to know why because instead of doing the right thing you decided to choose evil you decided to murder and kill and those are the 10 commandments that god has given us not to do and you have literally went against it and most of zionist energy are all against that stuff because you should not be murdering you should not steal you should not lie. You should not. There's so many things that you should not be doing. Right? But they're doing it. And justifying. They're saying it's Jewism and religion and blah, blah, blah. But it's none of that. These people are just psychotic. And they have this weird fetish with killing and torturing stuff. And making brown kids. And just... It's horrendous. Um, so when Gash has posted this stuff to you guys, it's not for you to be like, oh, well, I'm God now. Like what? Like don't turn into a fucking karmic. <laughs> like that's it. Like you've been doing so good. Why are you? Why? Like a lot of you, yeah, humble yourself. Check on your humility. Check on your empathy. Check on your ego every time that like, you feel like, you know, a lot of you 
that's something that I'm working on that I've been noticing that I'm doing and maybe that's where a lot of you could be working on try not to like when people are talking to you like try not to go and talk over them like that's something that I I've been like noticing I'm doing and I don't like it um but yeah have conversations with you like that like just like that like parent parent yourself like you know there's things that you need to work on and hold yourself accountable like that's that's not good you know it doesn't make people feel good and it doesn't make you either feel good even though you're trying to pretend that it does right so that's what i have for you guys i love you i hope this message helped it brings you some clarity and truth and justice okay um and how i always say ah <sighs> Make sure that you have empathy and love, not only for yourself, the planet, and everyone. Okay? I love you guys. See you next time.